Hey guys, so we're doing a little shopping today. I have to pick up a couple things. And right now we're at Starbucks. I placed our order ahead, so Zach went in to get it. Also looking for one cup in particular. I don't need more cups, but there's this really cute one that's like pink fading to like turquoise. So he's gonna see if they have it, but I doubt it. I feel like they all the cutest cups sell out so quick. So anyway, we're getting Starbucks and yeah. Welcome to a vlog. All right, guys, we got Starbucks, but I also did some damage. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me, but anyway, it's gonna be super cute. And this is also my drink for the day. So I got Trenta iced coffee, um, almond milk, a little sweet cream, which is really nice, and then toffee nut syrup, which low key is so good. Y'all need to try it if you haven't. All right, we made a little stop at Ulta for some content I'm gonna be working on. And <gasps> look where we are now. Oh. I'm getting in so much trouble. Better hush. I broke a few hearts to tell a couple too many times. I let good things go up in flames. They blow up like dynamite. If I'm being honest, no, I got a problem. No one made me want to change. Then that was you. It feels so new. I just want to get this right. I told Zach that I found this for him and he was not pleased. Oh no. I did bad things again. So we're in the Targets. Now we're at Aldi. And they got the stoves here. It's a little cheaper. We got the All right, so we're back from our little five hour shopping trip. Ooh, I still got most of my pink drink. I'm so excited for that. Mm. I did get lots of fruits. We got apples, mandarins, a couple mangoes, a couple avocados, pineapple. We got a lot of this silk creamer and the stoke coffee just to, because we don't have any, like we have to drive at least probably like 45 minutes to get any. I got some pineapple juice that I've really been wanting. Um, it's just 100% pineapple. We got this variety pack of White Claws. I had never seen strawberry, mango, blackberry, and pineapple because I love pineapple. And then we are stacked with lots of veggies and some grapes lots more veggies in there what else anything exciting in the pantry not really i did get my favorite trail mix and i'm gonna try this quinoa thing mango jalapeno quinoa it sounded kind of good a couple of cereals so yeah it's just stuff from aldi it's so affordable there, like you don't feel like you're spending a ton of money. Got the kitties a couple toys at Target. This was on sale for $3.99. I think they're gonna go crazy for this one. It's like a kiki, um, one that they kick, but it's also got like strings and feathers and catnip. And then this, chicken of the sea. It's a little furry chicken and then a little can of tuna. I can't say T U N A very loud because they know that word. But new toys and also came home to a package on a Sunday, which I was like, not expecting. So this brand is now carried at Ulta. Um, it's Gigi Waxing. So they sent me their system at home hair removal. I have never tried like waxing myself, but I'm really hoping that this will help because my skin is so irritated by shaving, especially in the bikini area. So I'm going to try this out. I am really hoping that this will give me a better result. It's supposed to last for weeks and it's not supposed to be so bad for sensitive skin. So I'm really, really hopeful for this. We will see, but I'll do like a proper video or include it in another vlog when I actually use it. But today I'm just showing oh, it. Oh, okay, this light really isn't bad. Um, I just washed my hair today and used those Amika products. Look at this little hoe. She's not supposed to be out there. Hey, Sally. So anyway, I thought I would show you guys what I got. So I got stuff from TJ Maxx. I really intended to spend no money, but 
I wound up spending way too much and my Ulta bag. So I'm gonna post about these so you'll see this, but they carry this brand called The Good Patch and they have different patches that you put on your skin for different things. So I'm gonna be posting on Instagram and TikTok, but they have Relax patches, they have the B12 Awake, the Relax has Ashwagandha, Passion Flower, Ginger Root, L-theanine, which I already take as a supplement. Um, it's got magnesium, black pepper extract, calcium, vitamin B6, folic acid, uh, B12 and adhesive. The B12 has caffeine, B12, green tea, and then the dream one, which is hopefully going to help me sleep, melatonin, hops, valerian root, and black peppercorn. So I'm really excited to try these out. I will keep you guys updated. So I got all three. I went so crazy in Starbucks. I don't know. I've been seeing all these people get really, really cute cups. And Zach got me one like a, over a week ago. But I think it wasn't one of the spring or summer ones. I think this was just like a cup that they had. It was really cute. So yeah, I, I lost my mind entirely. And we got Starbucks twice today. I don't know what's wrong with me. So anyway, Zach went in the first time to pick up our drinks and saw all the really, really cute ones. And I was going to get like one or two and then I went overboard. What? Uh -oh. You can say... I saw too many cute cups. I saw too many cute cups. But yeah, he but he does like he could say, Oh, you got too many, but he's in there like, Well, you really need to cycle through your cups and you don't need to use the same ones all the time, like some bullshit that I would say to make me <laughs> what? To make you feel better. To make me feel like I'm not going crazy. Yeah. I also got a pair of blue jean shorts at Target. I'm not showing y'all. They did not fit. They're really cute and they were on sale for 15, but I sized up and they still don't fit. So I'm like, okay, you know, women's sizes are so annoying. Anyway, let me get back to this. So let me show you the cups I got. I don't, I'm not buying any more cups for a long time because this is crazy, but look how beautiful this is. So this is one of the metal ones. These are more expensive. I love how it's got the yellow straw and it's got like this little shape. I don't know. It's just like, well, you can see, you can see what it is, but this one's so pretty and I don't normally go for these colors, but it's so summery, so springy, so cute. This is the only, yeah, this is the only small one I got, but this is glass. Yeah. Yeah. This one is glass and I love that this one's see-through because I don't think any of the other ones I got are see-through, um, but it's like a little sunset, like purple, yellow, orange, red. I thought this was really, really cute. So the smaller ones, this was 17. I'm telling y'all, I went absolutely nuts. I don't know what I was thinking. I got this one, which if you look close, it's like coral and like different like little sea things, but it's got these bubbles. It looks so pretty. And this one's semi see-through. Like once you have something in it, you can kind of tell. Uh, like through the light, it looks blue inside. It's really pretty. It's like an anemone and an anemone. So yeah, I got that one. There's no excuse for the fact that I got so many cups. Y'all can just, I understand. Um, this one, I have a like peachy coral colored one. And so they had this really pretty aqua blue. This one you can kind of see through too. Like if you want to see what you're drinking. I got another one in that shape. This one I saw somebody else get and it's so pretty. It's like this pearly color. I know. And then this one I thought was really cool too. I love like the ombre of it. And I was like, why is that straw that color? But it actually has blue on the back. So it like fades and then fades. Like it's, it's kind of weird how it's colored, but I thought it was unique. And I really like the fade of like this turquoise to purple. Hey, she was rubbing the wall. Come here. So yeah, I got six cups. Cannot explain what what went on in my head other than I do use them every day and I do, sometimes I'll use like three cups a day. Well, yeah, I usually do because if I'm drinking like water all day, I'll have one cup. I'll have a cup for liquid IV. No. Hey, girls. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Hey. Are you being a bad girl? Mm -hmm. Now they're all, I don't think I'm doing anything. Now that you saw camera, catch gotcha. you. You don't can't No, camera. they were still acting bad, but when they heard you coming, they're like, show them how cute you are. <gasps> Isn't she pretty? Okay. All right. I'm sorry.
sorry. Um, so yeah, anyway, but I will have like a cup for my water, a cup for my iced coffee, a cup for my liquid IV, like all in a day. So I guess, I guess it makes sense to have a lot of cups, but on the other hand, I'm like, I don't have any excuse. <laughs> so anyway, okay, we got some stuff at TJ Maxx. Some of it was actually like useful stuff because we don't have any pan that's actually deep. And this is that T-Fowl brand. It's the same brand as like my, um, aluminum cookware that I have. Quit chewing on the bags. So anyway, um, we didn't have anything that was quite like this and we're going to try to cook more at home. We're really bad about that. I can't, hey. Ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to show them what a little nut job you are. So anyway, we, um, we only have one pan that's like nonstick and this one is really nice and deep. I don't need much explanation. This was $25, but it's something that we definitely need, especially if we're gonna cook more at home. And I'm trying to like come up with recipes that are um, vegetarian, even vegan, even better, but especially vegetarian. So that's why I bought like tons of vegetables, tons of fruit, and I'm trying to just eat like more like real ingredients and not so much processed stuff so anyway i also got this from tfal a non-stick um like square griddle because i usually cook not every day but a lot of days either french toast with wheat bread and egg or um, my protein pancakes and this was only 17 and the one that we have is like crooked like it's warped so it doesn't sit on the on the flat top very evenly and it's literally like we got it from somebody else and they had already used it. I don't even know, <laughs> it's so bad. And then I got stuff from TJ Maxx. Some of this was silly again, once again, but anyway. I got these containers. This was originally like, oh, originally 10. They marked it down to eight. But these are the containers I have that have clear tops that I have earrings in. They didn't have clear tops, but they had these pink ones and I felt like I could definitely use these for some organizational storage. Hey buddy. No, 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 not up in the chair. Come here. Do you miss us? They're never ever alone. So the fact that we were gone like five hours, <laughs> they were all up in our business when we got home. I've never seen these in store, Kodiak Cakes Protein Crunchy Granola Bars. So we got oats and honey. These were only three, $3.49 a piece. And then we also got the peanut butter ones. So I love Kodiak Cake products. Like if you want some protein, but you want like some good taste and stuff, I really recommend especially the protein pancakes. I also saw this. Vital Proteins Collagen Creamer. Minters is blocking out most of the light from the windows. Anyway, Collagen Creamer, this is coconut. I feel like coconut creamer in the morning, um, since it's really hot, would maybe feel a little beachy. I don't know. I remember one of my trips to the beach, I had coconut creamer, and I just have a good memory of like early morning coffee by the beach with coconut. So these have collagen in every serving, but I've never tried strictly creamer from Vital Protein. So we'll see. We got one of the syrups, we got iced cinnamon roll. That's one of our favorites. I also got a Mac Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Buddy. This was 15, they're usually like 36 or 38 or something. Buddy, you're blocking the light. So this is an extra dimension skin finish. This is the shade Double Gleam. And this looked really pretty. I don't have the shade. So I just thought I would pick that up. Because I don't I haven't used a lot of skin finish, but this one looks really pretty. I, f I saw a MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. This is the shade Reverence. And I really like the Powder Kiss formula. I'm praying this is not the shade I already have. I don't think so. Um, I swear, Zach and I talk about it every time we're in a store and I'm like, I don't know if I have that color or that looks similar. He's like, we need to create an app to like catalog makeup, especially with like colors that you have. So anyway, this is the shade Reverence. It's a very wearable, like fleshy, fleshy pink, nudie pink. So I'm gonna look and see before I swatch it, I'm gonna see and make sure that's not the shade I already have. These are the organizers that I store my brushes in. Um, I like the height of these and just overall like the design. So this is from this brand. I never know if it's Bino, Bino, whatever. Um, but these have four sections and these are the perfect height for my brushes. So I use, um, I love these containers or for like lip products too, but specifically if you have a lot of brushes and you want to like kind of separate them a little bit, but keep them organized. I got two of those. These were $6.99 at, at this TJ Maxx. When I saw these at 
home goods, they were $10. So I got them for seven instead of 10. Ooh. So I felt, like that was, I felt like that was a good deal since I know that I already really love these containers and they're so sleek. Like they're a nice acrylic um, and I have that, there's a, there's a cleaner that I use for plastic and acrylic that I get from Amazon. It's linked to my Amazon store too. If you want to clean it with something that won't make it cloudy, it's what we used to use at Sephora and I actually ordered like a spray bottle of it from Amazon. Okay, here's where I had a problem and I went overboard. They have these NARS brushes and a couple of these brushes I have always wanted and they're very expensive like 40 and up like 40 50 60 70 dollar brushes so i got this one is the ita kabuki brush this one i've always wanted to do like a little contour i felt like it would be really nice for that y'all need to check out my tiktoks from this past weekend because i posted like some silly ones i don't know if they're if they're good but i thought they were funny so this is the Ida one. It has NARS here on it. And it's kind of like, if you can see, it's got like this open section. And it's like this little kabuki, but I just felt like this could be perfect to do a little contour with. These are so, so nice. I got, that one was $16.99. And I saw all of these listed like as current things you could buy at other stores. There's this one. This is the M-I-E, me, I'm gonna say me, my, I don't know. Um, my name without an A. This one, and this is the one that has like that twine look to it. Sorry, the lighting's not the best. Um, but this is also a kabuki brush. I felt like this would be perfect for sweeping blush, sweeping powder, um, maybe bronzer. It could be good for so many things. And these are so unique. These are expensive. Even in TJ Maxx, I feel like these are expensive brushes. Was it worth it? I don't know. I've always just wanted these brushes, so I felt like I would take a chance. And then I said, I really, really hope I can find this brush and then I saw it. So this one is the one I've always wanted. It's the um, Yashio Kabuki brush. And this one's the one that's got like this really tiny little handle and then it's like this. I feel like this for blush is perfect. Or if you're doing like a, a more diffused highlight and you wanna highlight not just like so particularly like right here and you want it to be a little bit softer, this would be really pretty for highlight as well. Cause I've been highlighting a little bit more, like just where light would naturally catch your face, but not just focusing here, but like kind of the whole area here where you can see even a little bit of light coming in kind of hits my forehead right there, hits down on my cheek a little bit, like that kind of placement. So I'm very excited to have these, even though they're expensive. If you're thinking, bitch, you shouldn't have bought brushes that are that expensive. I feel you, I really do. I shouldn't have bought six cups. <laughs> wrong with me okay so that is it for today it's already after six so i really don't have time to edit my palette declutter it's an hour and a half video and i've barely gotten started so i don't know i may start it tonight or i may edit this vlog and keep this vlog really really short maybe i'll do that so i've already been talking for 16 minutes so i am going to go ahead and cut it here you know what I'm gonna edit it really quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. It was just in a day, but I figured I would vlog a lot today rather than vlogging like not a lot going on like through the week. And I didn't put up my last vlog until Wednesday, I think, and it's already Sunday. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging with me. I I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing today. Today is the day that I just did the stupid spending, but it's okay as long as those aren't every single day i've been very good lately so i don't feel too bad so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for hanging with me i hope you enjoyed my vlog let me know if you have any video requests anything you'd like to see whether it be like something in a vlog or a video on its own um if you have any requests please let me know and i will see you guys really soon in my next one bye guys